This is Raptor News. They shall be as fuel for the fire. All the nations that forgot God. How shall the wicked fare in that day? Today we talk about the time of the Gentiles. Revelations 11 2. But the court which is without the temple leave out and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles, and the holy city shall they tread under foot for forty and two months. So the Gentiles were given respite, the same as Satan, for forty and two months. A lot of us heard this, but let's carry on. Psalms 74 8. They said in their hearts, We will crush them completely. That is Jerusalem, that is the Hebrews. They burned down every place in their land. So. For 40 and 2 months they had to do what? Tread down the holy city of Jerusalem. And what did they do when they got in? They burned down every place of their land. So God is going to send fire and brimstone down to burn down every place of their land. It is a balance system. What they put in, that is what they get out. What they sow, that is what they're going to reap. Psalms 83.4 they say, come and let us wipe them out as a nation. Let the name of Israel be remembered no more. And these are the nations. Every nation that was included, which is all, they shall pay the price of being burned with fire. Psalms 137.7 Why are you saying that all the nations is going down with fire? The earth will and the heavens will melt with fervent heat. The people on the earth shall be as fuel for fire they will become hell remember O Lord the sons of Edom on the day Jerusalem fell they said destroy it tear it down to its foundations so they knocked down every building to rubble Deuteronomy 28 52 and he shall besiege thee in all thy gates until the high and fence walls come down in Jerusalem wherein thou trusted throughout all the land, and this Gentile shall besiege you in all thy gates throughout all thy land which the Lord thy God has given thee, and thou shalt eat the fruits of thy own body. Why? Let's hear them tell you. The loss of life must have been catastrophic to the Jewish population as a whole. By the month of August in the year 70, the fate of Jerusalem was a foregone conclusion. The Roman armies were massed. They were ready to break through. Everyone knew it. It was just a matter of when. But they were going to fight to the death, and many of them did die. So on that fateful morning when they broke through, Josephus describes the events of them breaking through the walls, the Roman soldiers running through the streets, going into every house pouring into the alleys, sword in hand. They massacred indiscriminately all whom they met and burned the houses of all who had taken refuge within, running everyone through who fell in their way. They clogged the alleys with corpses and drowned the whole city in blood. The dead bodies of natives and aliens, of priests and laity, were mingled in a mass and the blood of all manner of corpses formed pools in the courts of God. It's a pretty awful slaughter. And we have lots of evidence of it now between the artifacts that one finds of the first revolt that are scattered throughout this layer of the archaeological record. So again, they slaughtered men, women, and children indiscriminately throughout their streets. It is their history, plus we are reading it right now. It is biblical history, and it is the Torah, which is our history. And God is saying, what? They shall besiege thee in all thy gates, until thy high fence and walls come down, wherein thou trusted throughout all the land. He shall besiege thee in all thy gates, and throughout the land which the Lord has given thee, and thou shalt eat the fruits of thy own body and the flesh and the sons of your daughters. So if you continue listening to them, he said that it took two months and they were starving. They were out and basically God is telling you what's happening. You shall eat the fruits of your own body and the flesh of your sons and daughters. 
And so this is what is going to happen to Gentiles. The thing is, people don't understand about the balance system. The Gentiles is going to get in what they put out. Or they going to get out what they put in. Which the Lord thy God has given thee in the siege and in the straightness where thy enemies shall distress thee. So it took them two months to get out of the city or get into the city. And they just burned it down, raped, plumage, crucified, man, woman, child, priest, and had no respect for anything that was of God. Deuteronomy 28, 48. And as I told you before, they broke your body into pieces and put you on some wheel and they played games of how they can crucify you in the funniest and the worst way. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and thirst and nakedness. So they strip you down and emuliated you. And that's what's ha going to happen to these people. And they don't have no idea. And in one of all things, Edom shall be impoverished. And he shall put a yoke of iron around your neck until he has destroyed you. As a man sow, so shall he reap. Luke 21, 24, Jerusalem will fall by the sword and will be taken as prisoners to all the nations. Jerusalem will be trampled down by the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles are fulfilled. They will. So this is the choice that the Gentiles made. They had a choice all the way back here when they had 40 and 2 months to tread down the holy city of Jerusalem or bless. They chose death. They chose destruction. They chose war. Deuteronomy 28, 68. And the Lord shall then bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by whereof, way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there shall you be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. <laughs> A lot of times you read stuff like this, and they don't want to hear what's going to happen to them. They would rather pretend, like, like I said, some sissy and some pamper are going to come in the clouds with his arms wide open and, 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 and free them from all of this. No, there is no freedom from it. As you sow, you're going to reap. Balance system. Genesis 15, Genesis 15, 13. And he said unto Abraham, No of a surety thy seed will be strangers in the land that is not theirs. That shall serve them, and they shall afflict them for 400 years. And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge. And how does God judge? By a righteous judgment. That righteous judgment is exactly how they put it in. That's how they're going to get it out. Exactly what they did to you as a people. That's what's going to happen to them as a people. It's already going down, folks. It's too late for them. And so this is why God said, flee Babylon. Jeremiah 25, 14. For many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of you also. And, will re and I will recompense them according to their deeds according to the work of their own hands so whatever them and their forefathers did that's exactly what's going to happen however they felt doing it that's exactly how it's going to be done back to them now is the time for the gentiles judgment revelations 11:18, and the nations were angry and thy wrath was come the 40 and two months is up and the time of the dead that was the till the time of the dead we know they changed the times and the dates so the 40 and two months is a fallacy that they should be judged and should have destroyed them which destroy the earth. <laughs> Isaiah 34 8. For it is the day of the Lord's revenge, the year when Edom will be paid back for everything that it did to Israel. So it, it was all about from the beginning to the end how you treated God's people and God's holy land. That's how you're going to be treated. And nobody will be wronged at all in any of this. Everybody is going to get what they deserve. God is a fair, righteous, honorable God. Let's keep going. Jeremiah 10, 25. Pour out thy fury upon the heathen that know not thee, and upon their families that call not on thy name. For they have eaten up Jacob. They destroyed the Hebrew Israelite and devoured him and consumed him and have made his habitation desolate. So anybody over there saying we in Jerusalem, they are liars. It was supposed to be destroyed and we see it no more. 
and none of us have seen it that are real Israelites. The people over there saying they in Jerusalem are deceivers. They are the synagogue of Satan. Ezekiel 25:14. So I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And this is going to be the first way. And then he going to finish it off. And they shall do in Edom according to my anger. And they shall do in Edom according to my anger. What are we doing? Robbing, stealing, plummaging, killing. And according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, says the Lord. See, you wasn't law-abiding citizens when you broke into Jerusalem. And you did in Jerusalem as you will. You burned it down to the ground. You tortured, maimed, and crucified the people. You built your city then on blood, the blood of our people. Jeremiah 16, 18. And it says, Woe to those who build a city on bloodshed. At, and first I will recompense their iniquity and, and their sin double. So he's telling the Gentile they have what? Double, double the punishment. Because they have defiled my land. How? Just by walking in it. They have filled my inheritance with the carcasses of their detestable and abominable things. Isaiah 65, 6. I have written this down. I won't keep silent. I will pay them back just as their sins deserve. So, as you have done, says God, it shall be done back unto you let's keep it moving folks come on psalms 137 8 O daughter of babylon who are to be destroyed so the babylonians are to be what destroyed happy shall be he that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us that's all it's about no one will be wronged so have you been such a happy delightful loving kind ass person to God's people well that's what's going to happen to you but if you've been a tyrant well that's what's going to happen to you Revelation 18 6 reward her even as she has rewarded you as you keep hearing all you hear is the balance system if you have done nothing you have nothing to worry about if you have been racist and shitty you have a lot to worry about if you have been supporting people who have been racist and shitty and murderous saying they got what they deserve they got goodified you're gonna get goodified reward her as she has rewarded you and double unto her according to her works and the cup which she has filled fill to her double Isaiah 59 18 according to their deeds accordingly he will repay Fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies. Ezekiel thirty-eight twenty-two, and I will execute judgment on him with a plague, and bloodshed, and upon his troops, and upon the many nations that are with him, and overflowing rain and great hailstones, fire and brimstone. So they said, when Satan is divided against Satan, and how is Satan divided against Satan? Some people is going to take the jab, and some people ain't. That's that how that's how they divide it. The ones who took it gonna be mad at the people who didn't. The one who didn't gonna be mad at the people who did. For being weak. Isaiah thirty four two. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all the Gentiles, and his fury is upon all of their armies. The key word in here, people, is all Gentiles. And all armies we don't have an army he will utterly destroy them he has delivered them up to the slaughter the only way the gentile can escape is if he is with and blesses israel and that's why james sinky was smart and the rest of these who are too arrogant god then says i will destroy the pride of your arrogancy i will make you come and kneel before my people and kiss the bottom of their feet. Jeremiah 42, 18. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, as mine anger and my fury have been poured forth upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so shall my fury be poured upon you Gentiles. Look what happened to them. Y'all came in with fury 
And that's how he gonna rain down them brimstones on y'all asses. With fury. He gonna burn and crucify and maim as many a fucker as he want to. <laughs> you know. Many. Micah 5.15. And I don't want to be here when y'all getting got. That's my prayer. I'm, I'm doing enough good to me for God to get my ass out of this bitch. And I and be like, why is he doing this? Why is he this way? Because I'm trying to earn my keep. Some of y'all think y'all going to get somewhere without earning it. No, you don't understand God. He said he going to recompense you according to your work. Nigga, if you ain't working, you ain't getting shit. Y'all don't understand. You ain't working towards the kingdom and doing what's right. You ain't going to have shit when that time come. And I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen, the Gentile, the nations, such as have never heard. Trump tried to use the same phrase on North Korea. Jeremiah 44, 6. Wherefore, my fury and my anger was poured forth and was kindled in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, and they are wasted and desolate even to this day. So what did he say? Then I'm going to pour forth my shit on you, Gentiles, the same way I did it to them. We are desolate and destroyed. You will be desolate and destroyed. Your time has come. So what does he tell us? Flee the mist, Jeremiah 51, 6. The mist of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. So I'd rather be burning my ass up out here in this desert. Like God said, make a highway in the desert. We wandered in the desert. We always been in the desert. He didn't say in the forest. He makes it clear. Revelation eighteen nineteen, And they cast dust upon their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, the great city where we were made rich. How did you get rich? Off of the backs of slaves. All that had ships in the sea by reason of her coastlines. For in one hour is the European nations made desolate. They made us a desolate, ruinous heap, and they shall be desolate. They burned down our cities with fire. Their cities will be burned down fire. They crucified our people. They will be crucified. Psalms 137, 9, O oh daughter of Babylon, you devastated one. How blessed will be he or be the one who repays you Excuse me, with the recompense with which you have repaid us. How blessed will be the one who seizes and dashes your little ones against the rocks. And now you understand why he put that in there because that's what you did to us. You took the babies and smashed them against the rocks as you went from house to house, raping, murdering, plummaging, burning, torturing, crucifying. Isaiah thirteen sixteen, Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives then shall be raped, ravished, a bruised, not abused, a bruised, That's bruised and abused, a bruised. Habakkuk 2.12, woe to him that buildeth a town with bloodshed, and establishes a city by iniquity. They put establishes, they ghetto. Job 21.30, the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. And that's why he said, you are as Gentiles reserved to the day of the dead. You have that respite, which is the time of the Gentiles. When that time is up, all hell will be broke loose. Nine, Psalms nine seventeen, the wicked shall be turned into hell. The wicked is who? The, the heathen, the Gentiles, the nations. They will be what? Turned into hell. Ezekiel 30, number 3. For the day is near, even the day of the Lord is near, a cloudy day. It shall be the time of the Gentiles. Joel three nineteen. Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. See, whatever they put out, this is what they're getting back. 
It is a balanced system. It is totally fair. For the violence against the children of Judah, because they have shed innocent blood in their land, because they made our land a desolate wilderness, it's only fair to get paid back. God is going to bring them dusty bones back to life, and they are going to pay for their shit. They thought because they died in 18 and 16 and 15 century, their ass is going to be done. No. Nah. You're going to be raised from your death, and then you're going to pay the price. Jeremiah 33, 24. So you might be slapping the motherfucker down from 1850. Thus they have despised my people, that they should be no more as a nation before them. Right? And God said, you did what? You despised my, my people. And so he said, what? I abhor you. Proverbs 26, 26. Whose hatred is covered by deceit. He's saying they do what? They cover hatred by deceit. His wickedness shall be shown before the whole congregation. <laughs> Obadiah 118. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For the Lord has spoken it. Jeremiah 30, 11, I will make a full end of all the nations where I have scattered you. Isaiah 9, 19. The land will be blackened by the fury of the Lord of heaven's armies. The people, which are the Gentiles, the heathen, the nations, they will be fuel for the fire. The nations will be what? Fuel for the fire. No one will spare even his own brother. So he said he's going to make the Gentiles war with each other. Joel 3, I believe number 9, but it is Joel 3. Ezekiel 21, 32, you will be fuel for the fire. Your blood will be shed in your land like you did our land. You will be remembered no more because you tried to make us be remembered no more and cut us off as a nation. For I, the Lord, has spoken. And why did God speak this way? It's because of what you did. Zephaniah 3.8 Therefore wait upon me, says the Lord, until the day that I raise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather all these nations that I may assemble their kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with fire, and they're going to be there as what? Fuel for the fire. They think Jesus is going to deliver them from retribution and a balanced system. They think they're going to sow and they're going to reap something other than they sow. I put it just like this. It's like a cookie jar. It's a balanced system. You only get the recompense of what you earn, meaning that whatever you put in that cookie jar, when you go to reach your hand back in there, that's the only thing you're going to get out of it. If you didn't put gold in there, you ain't going to get it out of there. If you only put nickels in there, that's what you're going to get out. If you put snakes and scorpions, your ass going to be done. And that's what y'all did. Y'all put shit in there that's going to kill you. Isaiah 34, 2. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all these nations, all Gentiles. And his fury is upon all their armies. All is the key word again. Obadiah 118, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire. You there with them, you're going to burn with them. Not that you're going to be destroyed, but you are going to kindle and burn in it. And the house of Joseph is going to be a flame. And the house of Esau for a stubble. They shall kindle in them and devour them. But there shall be no more remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. So, again... As you have done, and that's what God says, it will be done back to you. And this is how God's righteous judgment is. Obadiah 1. As you have done, it shall be done back unto you. This is Rap the News.